Tom Shu, and today I'm going to teach you about this little guy. It's called the Expo Disc. It's been around for a long time. I want to say since the 70s. Yeah, it might have changed hands the company has, but the device hasn't really changed much. It still does the same thing it did when it was invented. What this is, this is a light meter. This is going to tell you the shutter speed you need to shoot at, and uh, it'll also give you white balance information. Now your camera, it's not real smart. If you look at some of my previous blog posts, it, I tell you that it just can't get metering right. You know, if you're in tricky lighting situations, like this is pretty much a low-key background, it's, and I've got a dark shirt on, only a bit of white in the frame is my face. The camera can't meter for that. You have to go in and override it or use exposure compensation to get the frame right. So what's right? The only way to tell what's right or not is to measure the light falling on your subject. So you have to have a light meter. Well, if you can't afford a light meter, this is a great tool. And like I said, it does white balance. So let me show you how it works. What you do is you set your camera to manual focus. And you do that because when you place this in front of it, your camera won't trigger the shutter. It'll just hunt around. So once it's in um, manual mode, you want to choose the aperture which you want to shoot your image at. In this case, we're going to be shooting at f2. Okay, and I'm shooting an F2 because I want a pretty much a, a narrow depth of field. I don't have really good, good complexion, so shooting at that open, uh, wide open aperture is going to help smooth some of my skin. So that's why I'm shooting wide open. Uh, we're shooting at ISO 1600 because we're working with a couple fluorescent bulbs off the camera left. And basically this thing's got some prisms in it that knocks the light all around. And then it's got like a color diffuser in the back. In a pinch, you can use a coffee lid, you know, a, a paper cup coffee lid, those plastic lids. They kind of work similar to the way this works. Not as nice, but they can work in a pinch. So, with your camera set to the aperture you want to work with, put your camera in aperture priority mode and point this at your light source. Okay, so you want to kind of hold it up to your face where you're going to be taking your image at. And this is kind of right over in this area. So, we're going to hold it right here and we're just going to take a shot. Okay, and then you just read on the back. It says one sixteenth hundredth of a second at f2. Okay, so you put your camera in manual mode. Okay, and then you dial in at f2 one sixteen hundredth. Okay, also uh, with Nikon, there's a, an area you have to go into the menu and set pre, I believe, for your white balance. With Canon, it's a little bit easier. If you look at this frame, you'll see it's kind of like a gray frame. This gray represents our white balance information. So what we'll do is we'll go into the menu, we'll click on menu, and we'll do custom white balance. It says set custom white balance. And it says only compatible with images. So do we want to set this one? Yes. We're going to click yes. We're going to use this white balance from this image for the uh, custom white balance. Click OK. And then it says set your white balance to custom. All right. So now we're ready to take a shot. So what I'll do is I'll take two images. I'll take one image with the Expo disc, and it's going to get the blacks black, and the whites will be white, so my skin tone will be right. And then I'll do one where the camera is set in aperture priority mode with auto white balance. You'll see that the camera not only doesn't get the metering right, it blows my skin out because I'm in such a dark area, it also doesn't get the color right. Also, in, if you shoot with automatic white balance, from frame to frame, depending on how your models turned or your talents turned, you're going to get different colors. The skin tone's even going to change from frame to frame. Because auto white balance, it selects the color temperature from frame to frame. The name of the game when you shoot portraits or any kind of photography is consistent frame to frame exposure and consistent color frame to frame. So that's why I'm a big fan of using a light meter. Not only do you nail your exposure, you get your color right when you lock in a custom white balance. So you can use a white balance aid, a target, you know, something uh, like, let's see here, like a color checker. If you want to do custom white balances, you can buy this tool. This is around $100. And it, it lets you build profiles and stuff. So it can be synced for a bunch of images. It has a white balance tool on this side. It's around 100 bucks. comes with some software. Or, one of my favorites is the I call it the light meter on a string, the Expo Disc. It really works great. So we'll, we'll take a couple pictures, we'll put them in the video, 
And until next time, we'll see you soon. So here we are. Uh, the camera is picking the exposure and the color. And here we are where the camera is picking the exposure, but I use Exodus to do the color. And finally, we have Exodus doing the color and the exposure.